Welcome to Exhibitor Lounge, sponsored by ExhibitEdge.com. I'm your host and your trade show mixologist, Michael Gray. Here each week, you receive simple, practical, and proven tips to improve your trade show marketing strategy and get better results while maximizing your budget. Okay, a connection that exhibitors want to use to avoid the cable and a laptop or other computer connection to a monitor is the direct USB port input connection that you find on most larger television monitors. Now they will have a PowerPoint presentation or a video downloaded to a USB memory stick and want to plug it directly into the monitor. All right. There's a big caution that you need to understand about this USB input port. More often than not, the monitor refuses to play what is on the USB memory stick. And there can be many reasons why. Let's go through a few. One, the USB port, well, it's just a service port for the monitor. Number two, the information on the memory stick is not in the correct format. Number three, the USB port is only made for JPEG photos or music files. Number four, the port is only available, well, just as a power outlet. And then number five, the media is not compliant with DLNA interoperability guidelines. Bottom line, just because the monitor has a USB port does not mean you can play information from a USB memory stick the way you can plug a memory stick into your computer. A monitor is not a computer. It does not have programs like PowerPoint stored to open and play files like a computer. PowerPoint files are a great example. In order to play a PowerPoint file, you would need to convert the files to a video format and put it on a USB memory device. Then you would need to run the video file through a solid state digital media player. Now, the player we use at Exhibit Edge is a MICA Full HD 1080p digital media player. I mean, it's a small black box that can be easily Velcroed to the back of the monitor and it will accept USB memory sticks or SD flashcards. Yes, it's a great idea to bypass all the cables and computers for simple continuous loop videos, but be very careful about thinking that a USB port on a monitor works the same way it does on a computer. I mean, monitors are not computers and cannot open files or presentations the same way a computer can. Always check format and compatibility before you get to the show floor when using a USB device connected to a monitor. Hey, as always, please respond with your questions or comments and let others know about ExhibitorLounge.com. Hey, we'll see you next week. Until then, I'm your host, Michael Gray, telling you, relax in the Exhibitor Lounge.